The oldest female is the leader of the herd. And so even when they're only two years old, they take charge of the little ones. So elephants can teach us such a lot about caring and nurturing and, you know, about forgiveness as well. Well, I need uh, some advice on which one to adopt. Kundani. He's a very special elephant there. Yes. And he came in loving the men from day one. Wow. And everyone said, is this elephant normal? I mean, is he cat? We've never seen one like that in all my 50 years. Mm -hmm. But this elephant has obviously been friendly with our ex-orphans mm -hmm. who are now living wild, mm -hmm. who've probably brought him back to the Northern Stockades. He's seen the interaction with the keepers there, and he knows that they're friends, that these guys are different. The United States is committed to working in each of these areas, community, um, policing, the prosecution and the demand to to address this problem and we're working in a variety of ways to do this. I mean just for example at the law enforcement level we're working very closely with the Kenya Wildlife Service. We've worked with them for 50 years to strengthen their capacity to deal with the problem. We're working with communities trying to commu uh, create community conservancies through USAID. Um, obviously we're working on the demand side with the countries uh, where there is a demand. Very grateful to have the opportunity to myself adopt an elephant today. Yes, well, I hope you go and see the other stage, the rehabilitation stage, mm -hmm. and follow the life of your orphan when it uh, goes through the nursery to the next stage. And even when it's living wild and has a wild born baby, if it's a female one, I know you've got a little boy.